Hey, here I'm going to talk about viruses and how they relate to plants. And while this is a very broad category, I'm going to try to single out a couple things to focus in on. Uh, one here being kind of a model look to the leaves. This is an example of what one virus uh, tobacco mosaic looks like. So what's why it's not easy to identify is there's many different viruses that can cause different visual symptoms. As mentioned here, the modeling is one, but this isn't true for necessarily all viruses. Also, the virus itself can only be seen with an electron microscope or other very extremely fine viewing uh, mi microscopes. Your traditional light microscopes that you may use to look at cells in, say, a biology class uh, will not be able to see viruses. They are extremely, extremely small. This indication here is 0 0.2 um, micrometers, extremely small viewing. So you have to use very specialized equipment to be able to positively identify the virus itself. Now where to look, typically you'll see a model look to the leaves, even though there are some variability, but model look is one uh, relative consistency across many different viruses. Also, also viruses often do not kill the plant entirely, but they can reduce the yields and cause odd visual characteristics that develop. These leaves should be nice even coloration, and we can see that model look definitely evident here. And here in canvas we see kind of one portion being kind of that weird kind of coloration look to it. How to prevent it? Well, prevention of the vectors, insects, and tools is important. Aphids are a very common virus vector or carrier. They can cause spreading through an entire grow facility very quickly. Also, smoking tobacco in a grow area is not advised, as the smoke can transmit tobacco mosaic virus. So a lot of times you'll see no, mo no smoking signs in tobacco fields, which may seem kind of counterintuitive, but it's because of the fear of tobacco mosaic, which can translate transmit through the smoke um, of this cigarette here. For control, since virus is only DNA wrapped in a protein coat, there's really nothing to kill. You can't really kill a virus because it's not necessarily living to begin with. So control does not have to do with the virus particles, but those things that may transmit the particles, the things that may carry it. So a way to prevent uh, virus infection, to go back, would be to prevent aphids or control your aphids, uh, which is an insect, not necessarily a virus itself, but that's vectoring that um, virus particle. And also yourself or tools that may come from an infected area, try to clean those, sterilize those um, in a way to kind of limit that potential unwanted cross-contamination from a virus-infected plant to another plant. You yourself should be mindful. Simply dipping your hands in milk is one way um, growers for tobacco fields have been able to reduce the spread of virus. So all things to consider, because once you get it, while it may not kill the plant, it definitely will have a negative impact on the plant, plant's performance.